Hey everybody, welcome to another video review by CigarFellas.com. I'm Moose. I'm Loki. And tonight we're going to continue our Monster Series reviews. And we are doing the Drac. This is the number two um, that was released with uh, uh, in the Monster Series. So, uh, I don't know, I've been looking forward to this all day long to be honest with you. Um, I'm just super ecstatic to be honest. Uh, I, I don't know why. I don't know why the Drac is the one that kind of like got me or you know why I'm looking forward to this one so much but uh, but I am and uh, I'm gonna try to get my foot band off without ripping the label. These are a foot banded um, cigar. I guess I can try to just slide it off and then maybe steam the band. I just kind of twisted my little bit. Oh, there you go. I got it. It was just caught up in one little spot there. But, uh, let's break out the, uh, the almighty uh, ring gauger. This is six and just over a half inches long. And 52 would be the ring gauge. Maybe a little bit less. But uh, 52 fit pretty good in there. Uh, so 52 by 6 and a little over a half. Nice dark cigar. Yep. I mean, very dark wrapper. Doesn't smell like much. Not in the not in the wrap anyway. The foot. I get some nice light sweetness from the foot. I don't know what you got out of the foot of that one, but. Uh, Definitely About has the, same. the uh, yep. It is a torpedo type of uh, wrap. The uh, the cap looks in good shape. This cigar is actually in pretty good shape um, for uh, being as old as it is. Obviously, just one year uh, newer than the Frank. So I think we agree that the Frank is what seven years old. Uh, at least yeah. the, it's either seven or eight. I mean, some people say eight, but they came out in 2008. So what does that make? Does that make some uh, really only six years, right? I mean, by calculation, is that right? Two, yeah. So I mean, I, I don't know how that is, but whatever. Um, so you know, even if it's five years old, I guess it's five years old. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this with my Zycar here. And I'm going to actually cut mine on a slight angle, and I'll talk about that in a little bit, about why I'm cutting this on a slight angle for a uh, torpedo cutter if you care to sir. The, uh, the draw on this is absolutely spectacular. Um, for those of you that follow my videos, I would say McDonald's straw and water, uh, not anything it's definitely not milkshake thick, but uh, definitely uh, a nice smooth draw. What do you think? You just about the same? Yep, pretty close. Pretty close. Once again, we're going to let Pete Sr. do the uh, honors of uh, toasting and lighting this one. I think Ryan's using the Zycar Enigma 2. It's a little bit harder to toast with a soft flame when you got the ventilation running and the fan also. The flame likes to dance around a little bit, but no worries, I'm not in any humongous hurry and it is actually toasting. So the toasting aroma almost reminds me of uh a little bit of burnt toast and like maybe some sweet molasses. I don't know if you're catching those uh, same yep. notes, but uh, I kind of get a little bit of burnt toast in there, but also that little bit of that little bit of molasses uh, taste. Just patching up a little bit of a wrapper issue, but. Uh,
Wow, that first retro hail is uh, is definitely interesting. And the flavors that just blew through my palate and then transformed on my palate and in my retro hill was just something to, to be spoken about. I'm not even sure what I just got. It was a very nice, smooth, almost slightly nutty mix of espresso, but with a certain a certain amount of sweetness that just kind of blasted me about halfway through that finish. And I, I have to admit I, I haven't had that before. That was that was very interesting. Yeah. There is definitely some good sweetness to the cigar. This is embarrassing, first time for everything. Hi honey, I'm doing a review. Yep, we already did. Go ahead. Hang in there folks, I'll be off the phone in a second. <laughs> okay, I love you. Bye. Never ignore your wife when she calls, even if you're in the middle of a video review, I guess. But uh, So, uh, what are you thinking there? I'm trying to get a little bit of smoke to kind of place the flavor. It, it is. I have to admit, this is a lot more complex than I anticipated it was going to be. Uh, the, the flavors that are kind of ripping around through this thing are... are you get a lot of... A lot of cocoa, it's definitely sweet. A little spice on the end, on the finish, but just a little, not, I would say, red pepper. No, no, I, if anything, I would say some light white pepper, maybe. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, cocoa. I'm kind of speechless, to be honest with you, because I'm, I'm in, very intrigued by what I've gotten in this first quarter inch. But um, I'll tell you what, let us go ahead and talk about this for a few minutes. We'll be right back, and uh, we'll come back after our first third, and we'll fill you in on what we're getting out of this Ted Wahe drug. You guys hang in there. Hey everybody, welcome back. So uh, here we are, we're about a third of the way through this uh, Tadwahe Drac. And uh, I think both of us have been on a little bit of a ride through this first third. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and let you take this one. You go for it. It's, it's very interesting. Now what you get from the beginning is a lot of cocoa and then a little bit of wood and a little bit of nuts but then almost out of nowhere you get hit with this huge pepper sensation and it gets in your eyes and it gets in your nose and it's not like normal pepper and cigar where you smoke it and it's right away it takes a second and but when it hits you it hits you it, it's just it's everywhere no, I agree. That the first little bit of the finish is nice and smooth, kind of cocoa-y, and then all of a sudden it's like it's like pepper just showed up at the party. Mm -hmm. And I mean, to the point of, I believe it made your eyes water a little bit. Um, it's very strong. Um, it's definitely a full-body um, cigar. Um, and I want to talk a little bit about that too, because the reason that I like to cut torpedoes on an angle is because I can direct the smoke a little bit easier around my mouth and around my tongue and my, you know, the rest of my palate. So I'm sure there's people out there that just said, what? But I'm just telling you why I do it. Um, 
and it's very possible that I'm not making any difference in the world, but it appears to work for me. But with that being said, this is definitely still a powerhouse cigar. Yeah. Um, very, I mean, even with the strength of the pepper, it's still smooth. It's not, it's definitely not overpoweringly rough or anything like that. Um, I think the age did it well. Um, I, I can honestly say that I think that the draft probably held its age a little bit better than the Frank did, in my opinion. Um, obviously, we haven't smoked the second third or the final third, but I can tell you from what I've smoked so far, this is an outstanding cigar. It's really good. It, it is very good. And, and the, the whole pepper thing, it, it's my style. It's right up my alley, so I can really appreciate it. Um, the smoke rolls into your mouth real heavy and, and coats your mouth uh, very well. Um, all in all, so far, I mean, good burn. Um, you know, it's got a little bit of a divot in the burn, but look, you know, I mean, like I said, the ventilation's on down here. I got the fan running. Um, you know, the air purifiers are, you know, well, the ventilation's running. So, you know, I mean, there's, there's definitely airflow down here. So, whatever. I don't expect it to be perfect or spot on. And, and quite frankly, I don't really care. I mean, yeah. I, I mean, as long as I'm not getting a huge run down the side, I don't really care if it's not, you know, razor blade sharp or anything like that. But a lot of people get caught up on that. And, you know, if you do, that's fine. If that's your thing. But um, I never let that bother me too much. You know, I'll hit it with the torch on the side to clean it up if I need to. But to me, it doesn't affect the flavor, you know, for no. the most part. No, and I couldn't agree more. Um, I'm still getting some nice nut nuttiness out of this. Um, I'm still getting the cocoa, the pepper, and the finish. Um, you know, as Loki and I were sitting here, we were discussing it, and he's like, whoa, the pepper. And I go, dude, try slow rolling that retrohale. Yeah. And I'll tell you what, man, if you slow roll the retrohale on this, it definitely wakes you up. I mean, you are... Like, holy cow, what just happened? Um, it, it's just an amazing sensation from an amazing cigar. And, uh, you know, at this point, I, I'm just ecstatic that I'm, that I'm smoking it, to be honest. Yeah. Um, it's, it's just very well constructed. It's held up well. Um, I don't have any draw issues. Um, you had a few draw issues. Um, but, you know, I mean, it's a six-year-old cigar. Yeah, I mean, you know, I mean, who knows why? just the way it was rolling. There's a hundred different things that it could be, so uh, it's unfortunate, but we do have a draw tool. So, you know, ran that through there a few times and uh, it seems to have corrected itself for the most part. But um, yeah, so far so good. So give us a few minutes here, well, longer than that, but uh, a few seconds on your end uh, to get through the second third of this and uh, we'll be back with more of the drag. Take care. So here we are through the second uh, third of this Ted Wahe draft. And um, mine's kind of transformed a bit into more of the nuttiness and oakiness of the cigar. Uh, I still get a little of the pepper on the finish, but the pepper's kind of subsided just a hint, enough that it's kind of okay. But uh, the oak is definitely moved in as well as that, um, that nuttiness. Uh, it's, I mean, we were just sitting here kind of talking and, and uh, we were discussing, you know, what the general census of the drac is and that uh, many people don't consider it to be one of the better monsters. But honestly, I keep smoking them, right? I think it's I think it's very good. I think the complexity and the way that the flavors are changing um, keep me on my toes. I don't get a lot of that. You know, there's a, there's cigars out there that you know they're they're the same start to finish. You know, maybe they get a little stronger towards the end because you know you got that tar build up or whatever. But man, all in all, honestly, I, I think it's a an absolutely delicious stick. Um, and like I said, it's what do you think?
I'm getting a lot of the the nutty, the oak flavors. I'm still getting a bit of the the, the cocoa up front. The pepper has definitely died down a little bit. Uh, but every now and then you get a, a good puff and I was, sneaks I back was, in there. I was just gonna say that because man, that Sometimes puff right there. Yep, yeah. that yeah. puff I just hit right there just it rocked me. But. Um, I gotta say, and I might anger Catawaya Nation here, but I think I like it better than the friend. I could say the same. I could say that, like I said, the, the changing of the flavors, the complexity of it. Um, I agree. I think it's. I think it's much more of a complex cigar than the Frank that I smoked. I always had my suspicions about this cigar. And I think maybe one of the reasons people say the things about it that they do is it's, it's not the average Tadawaka profile. Right. It doesn't taste like any cigar that he's made that I've ever had from Pete Johnson. Well, maybe a little bit of a, the 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 little pizza. Mm -hmm. That one kind of has the chocolatey, smooth flavors. It's got the in-your-face spicy powerhouse that people come to expect. So maybe in that regard, that might be why people when they're smoking this, it doesn't taste like a cat. Right. But. Yeah, I, I can honestly say too that, you know, even after I set that cigar down, my mouth is still tingling like mad. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it just, the finish is just phenomenal. Um, I dig it. I dig it a lot. Yeah. I'm looking forward to this final third for sure. So, uh, let us go ahead and burn through these, uh, these two dracks, get down to where we're nubbing these suckers. And we'll be back with our final thoughts on this Tatawahe Drag, part of our monster series here at CigarFellows.com. Pete Sr., uh, I think he agrees. Pete Sr. approves. Yeah, Pete Sr. approves. This part of his posse enjoys it. So, we'll be back. Hey there, everybody. That's where we're at. Another mistake. The last inch. And, uh... Burning my fingers. It is burning mine as well. <laughs> I do have a cigar clip. I don't know why I'm not using it, but whatever. Um, take it away, Ryan. Go ahead. We, we, we agree. It's almost entirely on this cigar, so. It's maintained its strength through the whole cigar. Uh, it, it, it hasn't really ramped up. And it definitely hasn't backed off. It's been definitely full, strong the entire way. And a very rich flavor. I'm still getting a lot of the cocoa. Not quite as much as in the beginning. Uh, more nuts. Probably more nutty. And, and a lot of wood. I'm still getting that pepper in the nose. And it just kind of it creeps up on you. And it's not like you know, the in your face sharp pepper like a lot of pepper cigars are. It's just kind of, you'll take a puff and you'll get all that. You know, the nice aromatic, you know, wood, nutty flavor, and then right at the end there, it just hits you with that pepper. It does. But overall, it's it's really good, really good cigar. I will. I would not venture to say it's my favorite monster because I have smoked some of the other monsters. I really enjoyed the face. I'm super excited about the face tomorrow night. Um, I really enjoyed the Wolfman as well. Um, so I'm going to be interested to see because I haven't smoked a face in probably a year and uh, I haven't smoked a Wolfman since they were released. So I'm really excited about the Wolfman as well because I really want to see exactly what's going to take place um, with smoking that one. But uh, yeah, all in all, Definitely a great cigar. Uh, I'm really excited that uh, we had the opportunity to smoke the uh, the drag this time. 
and uh, you know, man, we got five more to go, six more to go actually. Yeah. Six because of the jackal. But uh, they, um, so, is there anything like this? I mean, it's, it's going to be good. Yeah, so, I'm definitely looking forward to the next uh, six days. So. Uh, don't forget to continue to check us out at www.cigarfellas.com. Check us out at Facebook, facebook.com forward slash cigarfellas. Check out us on Twitter, Instagram. We're all over the place. Just look at Cigarfellas. You'll find us. Um, also, don't forget to check out Zycar.com. I still think they make the greatest product on the face of the earth as far as cigar accessories. Unlike my uh, battery and my phone. <laughs> You can get it replaced absolutely free uh, if anything goes wrong. So uh, check out cigarsforwarriors.org. See what you can't do for these troops, man. It's a great opportunity. I know you guys hear this. You read it in my reviews, everything. I talk about it all the time. Well, I talk about it because I believe it. I stand by it, and it's a great organization. Check them out. See what you guys can't do. To the men and women of our armed forces, come home safe, man. You know, that's what it's all about. It's bringing you guys home in a safe and orderly fashion. And... Uh, Till tomorrow. Yep. I'm Moose. I'm Loki. Take care.